Yeah. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. It's my birthday. So guess how I'm gonna spend it? No, not not that. I'm going to the DPS. Get my driver's license renewed. It's been a long time. I went, you know what? I don't think I have my license renewed in a while. Oh crap, it's this year. So gonna go get that renewed, gotta get the address changed on it and all that, so. Um, it's been a long time since I've done this. Uh, when Miss Shoki first moved down here, we had to get her address changed on hers and get her license done. So it wasn't too painful, except for the fact that like the main systems for like all of Texas, like the entire DPS system was down for like an hour and it kept crashing. So that took a while. Hopefully today won't be like that. And yeah, I took the day off of work. Not that it mattered, because I really didn't even do anything until now, which is about 9.30 in the morning. Um, the wifey got up, made breakfast, made coffee, because I asked her to. <laughs> I slept in. I had a rough night last night. I don't know what happened. But did not want to work today on my birthday. Normally, I take this week off for vacation. I think I mentioned that in the table table vlogs um, normally I'm on vacation I work on something but uh, I didn't want it to I couldn't take vacation this time because we didn't pick our vacations until very late which means there was no time to actually take this week off but I took today off and they were like okay I gotta get my license renewed anyways I'm surprised they didn't remind me they normally do they're like hey you need to go get your stuff done I'm like, oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the oil changed on the car because it's needed it for a little while. I just haven't had time because um, of work. Then they, they sent me an email all back. They're like, hey, you need to come get your oil changed. And I'm like, okay, I'll come get my oil changed. So basically today what I'm gonna be doing is sitting around a lot um, waiting for stuff. That seems to be the goal for today, to sit around a lot. And I may pop out Toys R Us today. I was gonna go work on the table. The weather's kind of crappy. I don't know if I really want to. Might do that tomorrow. Might might do the stuff that I was going to do tomorrow today and do the stuff I was going to do today tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's rainy and crappy, of course it is. Cold front coming in. But yeah, head to the DPS. There's one thing I like about where we live in town. We're generally very close to everything. <laughs> So only a few minutes to get over there. Hopefully it's not too terrible. I mean, I know how it can get, but with the way the system works now, it actually moves fairly quickly. Um, same thing at like the tax office. If you gotta go get your tags and stuff for your car, like the automated system that now separates um, the different things you need to do, it's actually not bad. But um, So like it used to be everybody waited in the same line now they separate everybody into the different things they need to do. So certain things go faster than others, so they have certain people designated for that. Either way, you, you guys get it. But I'm gonna go do that. Yay. Yay, I'm legal. I guess technically I wasn't illegal. <laughs> it's like my, my license didn't expire just yet. I thought about three more days. They always give you a small grace period uh, from your uh, actual birthday. But that took a while. Well, not super long, probably about an hour, hour and a half, if I had to guess. Let me look at the time. The thing ever starts. I didn't have my parking brake set. Still looking for the clock. Okay. So, let's go do the next thing on the list. Sit in the next waiting room. 10.30. Okay. So, actually, it wasn't even quite an hour. It was 9.30 when I left the house. So, uh, let me make sure I hold on to that. So... Not too bad. Could have been worse. Though now I feel like I need a booster shot. Because, <laughs> good lord. I will say that it does stink a bit in there. Much like most government institutions. The lady who was helping me was actually very, very friendly. 
you gotta like that when you're when your um, public servants are uh, helpful and friendly. I mean, I get it. They work on a crap job. So do I. But you know, <laughs> it's like they deal with people constantly that just don't get it. And there were a lot of people today who, well, just flat out didn't get it. Um, usually due to lack of paperwork. I <laughs> just repeatedly heard, no, you need this amount of ID, you need this, come back later, you need this. I'm like, come <laughs> there's a list of literally any everything you need before you go in there. You know, it's ridiculous. Though I guess my new uh, my new license to say that I need my glasses, whereas my old one didn't. Even though I've, I've had my glasses since junior high. The funny thing is, is the last time I got my license renewed, I guess I read the thing well enough that I didn't need my glasses as a restriction. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Um, it's like, well, I wear my glasses all the time. Just what I do. Well, obviously you guys see me without my glasses, but, you know, I'm getting a headache probably from wearing my glasses. This rainy, crappy weather just doesn't, uh, doesn't bode well for the sinuses as it were. But uh, so far getting lots and lots of uh, happy birthdays on the Facebooks. Of course, that's what it does. Facebook reminds you that people have birthdays. Yay. So thanks for everybody there. Thanks for everybody uh, coming on so far, coming on to the Shoki Reviews Facebook and saying happy birthday. After. <laughs> of course, I reminded everybody, so that doesn't count. <laughs> But hey, I've only had one birthday since starting the channel. It is what it is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is going to be a vlog of me driving around constantly, of course. But I feel I do feel like going to Toys R Us after I get my oil change. I'm hoping the oil change doesn't take hours. I would think that at a dealership, they have people who just do oil changes. But this would be a good comparison. Let's see which is more painful, having to get my license renewed or having to get my oil changed. I'm hoping that it's the license. Well, that's a nice, pretty Jeep. Oh, speaking of Jeeps, I saw Hot Rod this morning posting about the Jeep Trailcat. Wow. <laughs> Hellcat powered Jeep Cherokee. Or, wait, what did I call it? Trailcat? Yeah. I guess I mean. No, Track. Tra track Cat? Tra I thought it was Trailcat originally. Now I'm starting to second guess myself. Either way, big big horsepower in a Jeep. And some people are like, this is so pointless and stupid to put that engine in there. And I love Hot Rod's reply, which is probably Freiburger's reply. He's like, have you driven it? Because <laughs> we have. And it's absolutely magnificent. It's like stupid fast, lots of power. You're probably not going to take it off road. And I love the fact that the show is it towing a Mustang. <laughs> Yay, Mopar love. But it is what it is. I'm going to go to the dealership. Speaking of Mopar love, that's where I'm going. And if you're wondering why I have to go to the dealership to get my oil chain, it's so that I can retain my warranty. You wouldn't think that a car that's from 2004 would have a warranty, but because it had under 100,000 miles on it, it still qualifies as the uh, warrant, or drivetrain forever warranty. I just hope that I haven't like gone past it. Be like, look, I'm just, I haven't had time. It was the first time I got over here. The miles would, I haven't put many miles on it. So, but it needs an oil change. I can just feel it needs a little bit of something. Normally, I would change my oil myself, but that would not have my warranty good. So, what I might do from now on is, like, just go buy my oil like I would normally, and be like, okay, guys, here's my oil. Just change it for me real quick. Other than my Mitsubishi, a long time ago, I've never taken a car purposely to the dealership for work. And that was only for oil changes. And that was stupid easy, literally walked in, I just did my oil change, and it was free because that was part of the uh, maintenance package when I bought that car. They're like, okay, you bought this car now, we're gonna do free maintenance on it for life. And then that dealership closed, which means I no longer had free maintenance for life. And that first, like, $75 oil change at the uh, at the next dealer, I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and change my oil myself from now on. Which I already did on my own cars. But, hey, when it was free, it was free, right? But, yeah, that's, that's that. 
All right, oil change is done. That took a little bit longer, about an hour and a half or so. Is what it is. Apparently, got some pretty nasty weather coming in pretty soon, so I'm gonna make a run to Toys R Us and just real fast. Hopefully, I can beat the rain. Um, it was pretty ugly. We grab some lunch while I'm out. I'm no hungry. But yeah, that was an expensive, kind of expensive oil change. Normally, if I did it myself, it'd probably be almost the same price, but I'd get different oil. Uh, so hopefully they did a good job. <laughs> So we'll see what happens, but yes, it's time to go that way. Get things. Toys R Us looking for stuff. Didn't find any new Nintendo figures, but uh, they did have a good stock, just everything I already owned. Um, but I did find, they finally got the Power of the Primes stuff, so I had the three Dinobots in hand, and I went and did a price check, because the labels are all jacked up out there. And you know, they're fair price, you know, $16, $17 for the Deluxes, which personally I think is just a little too high. And then thirty dollars for the uh, Voyager Grimlock. So I'm like, okay, so seventy-ish dollars. I went, like, okay, let me wander around the store for a minute. I got to think about this. Like, okay, let me check my bank account. <sighs> Damn insurance came out again, and it's still retarded high. I'm like, when when is our insurance gonna go down? Like, this is ridiculous. They it has to have been paid off by now, you know. I mean, it's payday right now, and I think I'm trying to remember if no, the week before was a short week. Last week was a normal week, so I should have a decent paycheck coming tomorrow. But man, it's like it's a good thing that I didn't do anything stupid. It's also very good that uh, the wife I had to help her out with rent. I'm glad I made her pay me back when I did because I would have zero in the bank right now if I did not. So, yeah, it's a good thing I controlled my spending. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, you know what? You know, I got that. It'd, it'd be fun to have those at least to review, but I went, you know, I actually don't think I'll like the toys. So maybe I'll find somebody who's going to buy them and see if I can review them. But, uh, yeah, I've just, it's always a downer. Like, just you see your bank account drained and you're like son of a bitch like and i know i just paid off that one big credit card and that was a huge drain uh, but it was either that or i would be paying on that for years to come so that's taken care of so you know at least that's money i can save every month not paying that bill or i can divert that money towards other bills but this car insurance has got to go down it's killing us you know, and I, and I get that they had to, they got to make up the difference, but I need to like call and be like, Hey, when is it going to drop? Because it's only $10 less than it was. So even dropping coverage a little bit, like a minor bit or changing the, um, I think I changed my deductible and it only saved $10. So it's like, what the hell? But yeah, it just, it deflated me a little bit. Um, I do think that uh, the wife is gonna buy me at least one gift for Christmas or for my birthday. She got me she got me some Reese's peanut butter cups. She knows that's my favorite, so uh, she did give me that, and she got cheesecake stuff like that. So, and I love cheesecake. So, I'm not knocking it, but with the hundred bucks I already spent today on oil change and getting my driver's license, um, yeah, I'm just not gonna spend anything else this weekend. And I do need to go. I'm going to Hobby Town on Sunday. I want her to come with me, um, just to spend time with me. And she's like, "No, I think I'm just going to go to the office." Like, you need to stop spending so much time at the damn office. It's annoying. Come spend time with me. You have a kit to build. <laughs> but uh, and that way, she could at least pay off one of my uh, layaways. I have one one Gundam kit on layaway that I could afford this weekend. So I think I'll go ahead and pay that off just to pay it off. Or she can pay it off, just pay it off, and I'll put more money down on the other one. 
so just shit happens guys you know and you know I, I should have a decent paycheck coming decent I mean it's not gonna be bad but I should have a decent paycheck I know one of them was gonna be a little bit short from one day off but um, what day was that? I don't know but I'll catch you guys later I'm gonna go home I think what I'm gonna do since I've got all day at this point I'm gonna find some lunch on the way home probably because that I can afford um, I think I'm gonna knock out the couple reviews I need to do while it's gonna be raining and everything I need to knock out the Regional Lake Julia video uh, did the unboxing I just need to finish up need to actually do the review it shouldn't be too hard um, I should do Master Grade Monday while I'm thinking about it because that's gonna be a long one and I need to even though it's crappy weather I might go ahead and start the work on the Gold Ranger um, because that review went up today and I need to do the repaint on it and I'm gonna spray paint it which means I need to take the guy apart that's gonna be hard but I'll see what I can do but in the meantime I'm gonna drive home I'm gonna be careful because it's getting a little wet out here the big storm hasn't rolled in yet but it's already damp so it won't be fun driving home Holy crap, it's raining, dude. Wow. Like, I mean, it is coming down. You can probably see it in the time lapse, but I just now got back into town in Conroe, and like, it's raining so hard, so fast, there's like minor street flooding here. Like, on the freeway, it's coming down so fast that like, you, you have to slow down in the dip because there was so much water coming across the freeway. And like it's these it's these quick sudden storms that suck ass. Like, I mean I know it's gonna pass. Oh shit, I gotta change lanes. That water's too deep, gotta change lanes. Okay dude, if you know I have to do the same thing, then you need to leave that gap. I'm leaving room for this guy. <laughs> Makes me miss my truck already. That is a very low spot though, so the water really builds up. But anywhere along the sides of uh, the loop here, the water really builds up. It's all going downhill towards the drain. It's going out of parking lots like that right there. Just crazy. Nope, oh, got wet. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to Arby's, man. I don't know why I'm feeling like Arby's. Arby's is one of my go-tos. I don't know about you guys. I was going to get food and go home. Now I'm uh, second-guessing that. Maybe I'll just eat here.